The first step after installing the GRC components and the GRC system and GRC components in your plugin systems is to verify whether the basis team has created the required RFC connections or not. So in our scenario, we are using one system, one backend system, which is an S4HANA system. Okay, to in connect with the GRC, integrate with GRC. So for the RFC connections, we need to make sure that GRC is communicating with RFC, sorry, uh, from with uh, S4HANA system. And then uh, S4HANA system is connecting with the GRC system. Now our GRC system sysid is TRS when the client is 100. And our S4HANA system is S4H is the SID and the client again is 100. So we need to make sure that the RFC connection, the bi-directional RFC connections are, have been created. So let's first go to uh, the GRC system and go to SM59. Then we'll go to ABAP and our S4 HANA sysid is S4H. So we'll look for an RFC connection, which is S4 CLNT 100, which connects to our S4 HANA system. Now, if you see there's another one here called S4 CLNT underscore RFC. This is because for uh, Fury uh, integration, we'll see how to do that later but we need one RFC connection between S4 uh, GRC system, which is TRS, to S4H, uh, okay? So we created an RFC connection called S4 client, and then to make sure it is working, we go and click on connection test. And then you can go to extras, utilities, and then do a authorization test also to make sure it is connecting. All right, now, if you have, let's say, you know, if you're going to integrate in, let's say, another system, a third party system, say, um, Active Directory, right? Then you would also need, you now Active Directory in GRC could is used for user provisioning purposes in ARM and all, right? So in that case, you will also need a TCP IP connection for, uh, connecting to LDAP system, the GRC system to with LDAP system, Active Directory system. Okay, so you need a TRC. So make sure you have all the RFC connections to your, uh, so, uh, the, uh, the systems that are going to connect to your GRC system. So once you can verify uh, the RFC connections on GRC side, you also go and verify the RFC connections on the HANA, S4 HANA side too. So our GRC ID is TRS. So let's see, we have an uh, RFC connection called TRS CLNT 100, which connects to GRC system. And you say, so you can verify all of those, right? If you say remote log on, nothing happens, which means the user ID that has been used is a communication type user ID, okay? You can use a trusted RFC connection also, but in this case we have not. Okay, so we used a normal RFC with a communication type user ID. So the RFC connections are set, okay? So now you can go ahead and configure uh, the remaining uh, uh, configuration that you need uh, to make your GRC system ready to configure the modules that you want to use. When I say modules, you're, I'm talking about um, ARA, BRM, EAM, and uh, ARM. Okay, so let's go to the next step and see what needs to be done, okay?